Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to today's tutorial. How are you all doing? So, now today's class will learn how to make this beautiful jacket with um, pointy sleeve. <laughs> yes. So, the bodies are uh, is optional. So, let's quickly get started. So guys, I welcome back once again. Yes. <laughs> so what we have on our table here, guys, uh, is our um, basic uh, uh, bodies uh, pattern. Uh, you can see I just uh, have it here front and back, and it's not into fold. So this is the neck weight because my is just a straight uh, jacket. Okay. Let me quickly introduce our fabric that we be working with. The beautiful uh, African prints. The color is the strongest one and lining. So this is our basic sleeve. So if you have not watched the tutorial, just click on the link below to take it straight. So this is your front. This is the back. We we'll always go in uh, towards the front uh, part because of armhole is deeper. So the cap I that I use here is half of my arm all uh, depth. So just blend it properly this way. So now from the center of our sleeve, you place six inches, because that's to work with seven inches, eight inches. The, the, the more you extend this part, the more uh, pointy your sleeve will be. So I'll just connect it straight uh, to blend it to my I'm all the front uh, piece that is the front part. Blend this part as well this way to make sure you get rid of the sharp edge. Blend it properly. So from this uh, slave length, I should have line is just two inches. Okay. Now the the round slave measurement of my cap height is uh, 18 inches. So I'll be adding seam allowance while transferring to the fabric. So this is basically for the front, uh, for the sleeve part. That is the truth. So the sleeve length is optional. So let me quickly cut it out this way. Note, no seam allowance here. I'll be adding it up while transferring to the fabric. Our sleeve is ready, the front and the uh, back uh, part. So let's move over to our bodies. You see what I did here? My just is straight uh, jacket. You see, so the shoulder is eight. I place it sixteen to two is eight. So I'm also gonna head to find my arm hole depth. You can see, so I step down, but let me draft it this way for a better view by an half inch. Place my arm hole depth to find my arm hole curve. Mine is usually 8 inches, which is my shoulder divided by 2. But I added 1 inch because it's a free uh, jacket. So I step in with an half inch because this is the front panel. So the uh, half bodies here is optional. <laughs> my camera, please. I want to be sure. So... This is it. Now, the cap height I use here is 4 inches. Okay. So, I'll find the cap height that is a uh, center of my arm, uh, arm or a depth. My is usually 4 inches. But I added an half inch to his my arm hole because it's a straight uh, jacket. So I'll be placing 4.5 inches, which I'll be adding same allowance to my sleeve. Okay, to avoid the shortage. So now we'll connect straight to my neck width this way. So I'll we'll find the uh, center of the line, which is 3.5 inches. Because it's 7 inches, I'll place exactly what I did here, 6 inches. If you are working with 7 inches, you place 7 inches as well. To find the length of... Uh, the length of your uh, sleeve height. 
as a pointy slave they want to create. So now I had to clean out, blend it to my arm hole, first to my shoulder line, that's my neck width. Okay, blend it this way. This part, I had to clearly look for my cover for the front panel. So I'll blend it this way as well. So this is it for the front panel. You can see how beautiful and simple it is. So over to the back panel, I'll find uh, my half of my arm hole depth is usually four inches. But because it's a jacket, I want it a bit free. So it's now 4.5 inches. Okay. So let me quickly adjust my uh, camera properly. So as I was saying, guys, it's 4.5 inches. I will connect straight to my neck weight exactly what you did. The front panel. So make sure you place your neck weight accurate. It's 3 inches neck width. So I have to clearly find the midpoint, which is uh, 3.5 inches as well. Place 6 inches. If you are working with 7 inches, you work with 7 inches or through. Connect this well. To a straight row. Blend it to your neck weight. Then in the arm all part. You can see it can't work with a cover properly because it's back panel. So I'll blend it this way. Place it this way. And this one is wrong. But by the time you place it that way, it's going to be a bit uh, tight towards the uh, uh, shoulder part. So blend it this way. You can see how it looks. Unlike the front here. Eh? <laughs> panel yes so this is it now we have to quickly cut it out with my length i'll be adding to what i'm trying to my fabric so if you are working with just bodies place your waist measurement and the full length of your uh, blouse top miser jacket Cut it out this way. If you are working with la pair, you can see just extend it to a uh, desired length. My is total neck, I've seen it. So now, guys, I have to clean out, trace it, and quickly show you guys. So, guys, you can see we are through tracing it out. I've also gone ahead to add my uh, interfacing, a color stay the strongest one on just that uh, pointy part. I won't be adding line to my sleeve. I've done the same. The main bodies. On my lining, I won't be adding a interfacing. So this is the length of the jacket I've been working with. So we decide to add a uh, color to it on both. That, that is your lining and your main body. So now it's time to stitch. Place it this way. I'm a bit fast here, but we all should know this by now. So you can see my lining is uh, one inch shorter. Stitch and show you guys. So guys, you can see we are through. So I'm also going to hate to iron it. So I use my hemming gum. <laughs> yes, that is why it is the last. So we try to add that. All depending on your preference, okay? So quickly put this aside. The sleeve, I won't be adding lining to it. I've said that earlier. Let me quickly introduce the front panel. So this is my front panel. I will place it exactly what we did to the back panel. I've painted it, stitch all around. So guys, you can see we are true. So I use my hemming gum. So place it wrong side facing the wrong side. You can see how beautiful 
uh, it says, if you look at my front, center front, there is no allowance as overlapping, because these are unwanted, okay? If you want to lap each other, make sure you add the allowance for that purpose. So let me clean him the slave and show you guys. So I'm done hemming my slave. Uh, it's time to stitch now. Flip it to the uh, right side. Flip it over this way. You can see how everything is the last because I use my hemming gum on the shoulder part. So I will stitch with an half inch and show you guys. So you guys can see done stitching on the shoulder part. So I introduce my sleeve pattern to make a notch so I won't fix it wrongly. So now I will introduce this part of sleeve this way. So I will open it up this way. Place it, pin it for easy sewing. Pin it this way. And you have to patiently do this. Yes. <laughs> so you pin and introduce your pattern, your sleeve pattern, to make a notch to know the sleeve, uh, the front part of your sleeve. If you are confused, so pin it all around, stitch, and show you guys. So, this I should look like. <laughs> so, guys, I'm through uh, joining my slave, one of my slaves. So, I have to uh, patiently notch it all around. You know, it's the strongest last day. So, everything will last properly when I iron it. So, let me quickly pull it out gently. Wow, this is beautiful. And see how pointy it is. So, mine is moderate. I just use six inches. <laughs> yes, for my cap height. That is two inches addition from my sleeve uh, uh, line. That my shoulder line. So, the same. Yeah. We are done. Stitching it as well notch as well patiently do this so that you won't notch on your fabric so you decide to work with inseam yes so this is how it should look like so pull it out gently as well wow So, I had to quickly now take my overlocking machine, weave it, iron it, and show you guys. So, guys, you can see I'm through uh, waving it all around. Okay, so I'm also going to head to iron it. So, I had to quickly now show this my pin. So I have to join the side uh, seam, pin it. For the slits part, I'll be using my hemming gum as well. First, pin it this way. Stitch and show you guys. So guys, you can see how beautiful it is. So I'll iron it this way with my hemming gum. We decide to fix pocket. Yeah, I love this jacket. Simple and beautiful. So patiently pull it out properly. So for the neck uh, line, see, I left my open. You can see how beautiful it is. So, I'm done ironing it. That is the slit part. Trim out the wanted thread. So, mine is just a free uh, jacket. So, 
So you can see my neck uh, line. I want to uh, work with a bishop uh, collar. See how neat it is. <laughs> so I've gone ahead to cut out this. But first, you measure your neck, uh, round neck measurement this way. For detailed tutorial of how to work on a collar, the link is below there as well. Click on it. So I have 17.7 uh, inches. So if you look at the thumbnail, you will discover that I used anchor, yes, as my bishop collar because I've actually fixed this. But I discovered that is the red color is too sharp. You know, I said to change it to my main fabric. So it's just a simple color. Just drafted out this there is one of my students uh, pattern <laughs> in our uh, physical class. So the weight is uh, three inches. So I place it this way. So I'll add my colors T. So you can see, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll place it this way to close it 0 0.3 inch all round and show you guys. Place it properly this way. So guys, it's time to trim out the sharp edge so that by the time I iron it, it will last properly. So, patiently notch as well. Give it a very nice press, yes. Top stitch. So I do the last properly. So my brave people, it's time to fix a, a collar. You can see, place it this way. Patiently pin it for easy sewing. My plan was to use a, a black uh, uh, color of a fabric, but I didn't find any. <laughs> yes, so I said to use this, but after fixing, as color is too sharp, so I have to clean lose it. But it's the same process and change it to my main fabric. So pin it this way, pin. Pin it this way. You have to patiently do this. Then stitch and quickly show you guys. So I don't stitch it, it will just stop stitch and iron. That is all. So guys, it's time to top stitch this way all round. Give it a very nice praise. That is all. So, you can see how beautiful our bishop color look. It's really simple, guys. So, I'm fixing. Okay, I will decide to work with button. So guys, here is the part that I went ahead to change my color to my main uh, fabric. Or the red is too sharp. <laughs> yes. So this is uh, all for this tutorial. And if you find this video interesting, like, share. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Okay. So I love you all. I remain your favorite fashion instructor, Chi Living Signature. Bye.